now you are into catlab area this is our intervention area this is state of art catlab this is the most advanced catlab in the region this is a, of a siemens company and we are using this lab for last one and a half year workload is quite sufficient and this lab almost remain busy throughout we when we started this lab in this region uh, it was a milestone cell it is a robotic compliant lab and with the onset of this 5g facility we will be able to perform off site plasty with this lab also I am Dr. Anurag Bharutra. I am an interventional cardiologist and practicing in this region for the last 20 years. I belong to this place. I started my practice in year 2000. I started with a smaller setup, and uh, as the time went by, I realized with the changing need of healthcare, we need a bigger setup. As the healthcare is undergoing tremendous change, change in every aspect. The type of patient population is changing. Their requirement is changing. Health insurance is increasing day by day, and patient many of the time requires treatment on multi modality basis. Meaning thereby, when a patient present to me as a cardiac patient, many of the time those patient requires care of other system also, like uh, care of kidneys, lungs, etc. To provide a comprehensive Intensive treatment. We decided to start a multi-specialty hospital at Mahabad. We consulted many reputed consultants in this field, and after consulting them, we went for the multi-specialty mode. This hospital has been constructed with the advice of the consultants who have to establish Fortis and Apollo Group. at national level the architecture of the hospital has also been devised by the team who have who is working with many large corporate hospital we started the construction of this hospital in year 2015 and we were able to complete it in a reasonably good time and we started the hospital in november 2017 obviously this is a multi specialty hospital we are completely nabit accredited and we are also accredited for international patient by quality council of india we are also conducting dn courses at our center and in fact our is the only center in the western up in uttarakhand which is conducting dnb courses and has been accredited for that by government of india coming to the treatment of this hospital we are doing many state of art procedures in different specialty in this hospital as intervention cardiologist our cardiology department i look after the cardiology department in fact our procedure rate in cath lab is more than 150 per month and all the type of angioplasties be it a primary angioplasty be it a complex in the dose we are on conducting those things we have state of art cath lab with us in fact that is a robotic compliant cath lab with the advent of 5g we will be able to do the cath lab procedures from distance also our aim of the hospital was to give the best of the treatment modalities to our patient in this region that to to the most critical patients for that we have established intensive care facility which is having more than 84 beds we are also having 58 hdu beds 
all our ICU beds are state of art and are being equipped with the most modern treatment equipment. We are having two critical care specialists with us specifically for this region. In fact, we are known in this region also for our intensive care facilities. Many of the patients which we are dealing in at, this, at our center, it was not possible to give them such type of treatment. Patients are requiring multi-specialty care for optimal treatment. Insurance level is increasing, paying capacity is increasing, technological advancement in the treatment has made treatment costlier and patient needs something for support, some financial support. The recent epidemic of COVID has changed the healthcare forever. It has taught many lessons to doctors, hospitals, and also to the patient population at large. We have changed our practices, our standard operating procedures, our mode of treatment after getting exposure to that particular kind of environment. Patients are becoming much more familiar with the advanced treatment in region like this. Now they understand the importance of advanced treatment in saving life. They know the treatment is becoming costly, so they are getting more and more insurance for the insurance cover for themselves. So all these factors have made the healthcare a totally bold game altogether. And I think if we did a right step in starting this kind of facility. It was not foreseen that COVID will come one day and we will need this type of facility. But that has become a great help for us. This institution, our hospital was a great boon in this region. In fact, we were the best. We were adjusted to be the best in treatment in those kind of situation. We were having patients from far off places. We had patients from Kanpur, from uh, Allahabad and from the neighboring district like Bareilly, Badayu, Sambal, Bijnor. And uh, we were able to provide them good treatment. One of the reasons of providing them good treatment was that we were able to procure different advanced medicines and we have the right infrastructure and the medical personnel to support them. We were adjusted with the best in the region by many authorities, both government authorities as well as the private organizations. The core of the hospital goes toward the intensive care be it cardiac intensive care or intensive care related to the other departments. We have almost all the specialties to cater to them and over an arching presence of two critical care specialists to look after the patient on a daily basis. We have Department of Internal Medicine, Department of Pulmonology, Department of Nephrology, Department of Gastroenterology. In the surgical side, we are having surgical gastroenterology, surgery, orthopedics, neurosurgery, pediatric surgery, plastic surgery. We also have pediatrician and neonatal specialists with us. Because of the facilities and the consultant we are having with us, we are having the best of the intensive care treatment in the region. We are lucky that we are having Dr. Siddharth Narutra. He is a gastro surgery consultant. He has worked at many hospitals in Delhi and he has been renowned in the field of gastroenterology surgery. In fact, he is the only gastro surgeon in the region. We are also running very successful gastro surgery program with us and it has been headed by a renowned gastro surgeon. We are also having OLAS, a managed maternity system where we look after the different needs of the family apart from the childbirth. All these departments are being supported by fully equipped pathology lab, very advanced blood bank and the radiology department which is again headed by a very competent radiologist. Any healthcare program cannot be completed without the competent nurses and paramedical staff. In fact, we have more than 350 nursing and paramedical staff with us. They are highly trained and in fact, we are also running certain programs to train them. We recently started a nursing training program in intensive care which has been recognized by national body. For the day-to-day -day running of the hospital, we have a large administrative department with also, which is are having different department of HR, public relations, accounts, finance, and being headed by very competent persons. In fact, we are um, grateful to them for doing the job in a very efficient manner. Pharmacy is a very important department in the hospital. In fact, we are having two pharmacies apart from the store, for one for the outdoor patients and one for the indoor patients. And now we are we are finding it difficult to cater to all the patients from these pharmacies. So we are further expanding our pharmacy department and starting a new department which will cater only for the intervention and surgical procedures. We are accredited with almost all the leading insurance companies and TPAs. We are also on the panel of many of the central and state government institutions like railways, like Heidel, like 
Food Corporation of India, like ESI, and we are also directly on the panel of many banks, especially the State Bank of India. Soon we are going to start Siddh Care, which has been started with the aim of providing care to our patient at their home itself. Many of the sick patients require care at their home in the form of different injections to be given different kind of physiotherapy to be required at different time when they are in emergency they need to be shifted to the hospital many of the time i have observed in my practice that uh, elderly people are living alone their sons and daughters are no longer with them they are they have shifted to other place so they are alone they need a special kind of care they need a special kind of health cover where they can, if they have some problem, they can contact that particular setup and get the facilities. We are coming to that field also. We are registering such kind of couples and people with us. We will have health record with us, their insurance with us, policies cover with us. Their children will also be have representation in their registration. So in case of they are having any problem, the requirement of elderly citizen is different from a general population. They want immediate medical care as well as emotional cover also if what I feel my practice if we are able to contact their son or daughters and make them aware of the things what are happening here so it makes a complete emotional loop we have started doing work in that direction also I am also running two foundations one is JPS foundation which caters to the needy and poor patients we provide medicine checkups and different type of procedures to the patient population which are not able to get them because of the costly at a free cost we are also conducting different camps in remote areas a recent ICMR survey has shown that 11 percent Indians are diabetic 15 percent are pre-diabetic 25 percent are hypercholesterolemic, 36 percent are hypertensive more than 50 percent are having abdominal obesity all this thing has led to development of many lifestyle diseases like heart problem like diabetes like hypertension different cardiovascular problems also as the cardiovascular disease has become number one cause of death in India considering all these factors we are planning to start a preventive program both as a hospital and at remote positions to give the preventive guidance to different population as per their need because best of the treatment in all the diseases are available but it is the prevention which is required to make the population healthy so we are going to have a big van with us that will have a facility of mobile clinic as well as diagnostic laboratory with it with us we plan to send this lab and clinic to different remote locations in villages and also to different factories which are lot in our area where the laborer can't leave his work because he will lose the money for a checkup so we will reach to them and provide them all the necessary tests and preventive guidance i also one cultural foundation, Sith Cultural Foundation. Through this foundation, we are doing different cultural activity in and around Moradabad. We have adopted two parks from the Nagar Nigam and we have beautified them to different activities as per the different festivals in those parks. I am happy to share with you that soon we are going to have a convention center in Moradabad. It is going to be come up with the help of Brother Development Authority in which we are going to participate in a large way.